Hey, it's Mr. Brown Thumb, and I have here a tomato hornworm that I captured in my garden. As you can see, it's covered in cocoons from a parasitic wasp, and that's the natural predator of the hornworm in the garden. And even though it's called a tomato hornworm, you can find it on pepper plants and eggplants. This particular one was attached to a pepper plant. But you can see there's lots of little cocoons and what happens as the eggs pupate they eat the worm excuse me the caterpillar from the inside out if you go on my blog you can see a post that I published on how to identify control and eliminate tomato hornworms in your garden and the easiest way really is to just pluck them off your plants and throw them in a bucket of soapy water and let them drown but you could also take a pair of scissors and just chop them in half if you have chickens or birds that visit your garden you can always toss them in an area where they'll find them and eat them but I like to let them stay on my plant for a little bit longer than normal because then the wasps parasitize them like this and this ensures that you have more of these beneficial wasps visiting your garden the next year But if you're not careful and pay attention to these guys in the garden, they can do a lot of damage really quick. They're really kind of gross looking, especially when they're moving. And like I said, if you want more information on controlling these guys in your garden, visit my blog. I'll put the link in the description. right here you can see the the red horn which the caterpillar is named after these develop into a really nice moth if you let them live but I prefer to capture them put them in a jar let the wasps find them and then just let them do their thing it's a natural and organic method of controlling these pests in your garden Thanks for watching.